The shipwreck graveyards are finally re-added. All captaincy bugs are now fixed. It's time to take a look at the patch notes. So here we are on the Season 7 release notes page of today's update, and they say as one adventure ends and another starts to take shape over the horizon, today's update ushers in a fresh bunch of fixes and adjustments to improve your experiences on the Sea of Thieves, alongside a fearsome refresh of the Pyre Emporium stock. But first, for Captaincy content, remind yourself of Season 7's key features with this trailer, so the content update, obviously we don't need to do that. So to kick things off with the major update, we have the new Pirate Emporium stuff, this being the Bleak Heart Banshee set. And the parts are the ship, costume, weapons, and tankard. Now I covered this in my previous video yesterday, it is a really nice ship set with the whole white and gold, so obviously go pick that up if you're interested in that, I mean it's Halloween stuff, so very cool indeed. But they also, as mentioned, have the tanker which wasn't covered yesterday, and it does look really, really cool. There's also the freebie Skull Crusher emote, which is a free emote, so you may as well go and pick it up to get into that Halloween spirit. They've obviously got Twix drops running throughout the whole of the month as per normal, but then here's where it gets really interesting. Rebalanced ferry time across cruise sizes. Following reductions to the Ferry of the Damned wait time in previous updates, these times have undergone further adjustment to provide a more balanced experience across all cruise sizes. Solo crews will now be held for 15 seconds, two pirate crews for 19 seconds, three pirate crews for 23 seconds, and four pirate crews for 25 seconds. That is a massive difference, especially if you're solo slooping taking on a galleon. They'll have to wait an extra 10 seconds, which it doesn't sound like a lot, but it really is when it comes to PvP. Even from solo crews to two pirate crews, four seconds, that's still a huge amount, and then another four seconds to brigand scenes, then a further two for galleons. Absolutely insane. I'm looking forward to see how this plays out. I'm sure we'll definitely be able to feel it in game. So further reductions there. Next we have replace gamer tags and replace ship names. Basically they've made it a separate option because before it replaced both. And then replace captain's gamer tag on ship banners. That's the issue or fix rather that I thought they were going to add soon anyway. So obviously you can replace gamer tags on there again if you're a streamer or content creator. Then we have a bunch of fixed issues. So, some general stuff of vanquishing emergent skeleton captains will now progress hunter of curse captain commendation. Don't know why that wasn't a thing before. Players who are away from their ship when migrating servers will now drop any held items before migrating. Players to pass me to tells the dam should no longer find their remote radio is reset. Thank God. Cargo runs should now appear on emergent maps found inside barrels. But then, the legend of the veil. Pirate Legends will once again encounter shipwreck graveyards during the Legend of the Veil voyages. During the Legend of the Veil voyage, crew should now consistently be directed to the next quest after completing the initial quest from Bell, and starting and cancelling the Legend of the Veil voyages should now ensure that the treasure from shipwreck graveyards is removed from the world. So that exploit has now been fixed. Really nice to see it back in the core gameplay loop, because it was a really amazing part of the voyage, so it's really nice that it's back in there. Then, Captaincy, Captain's Adventure. Here we go. The first captain's ship to join a server should now consistently retain previously saved ship decorations. That's really interesting. That's telling us the cause of the issue, that the first captain's ship to join a server. So I find it very interesting that that's what the issue was. I guess it's fixed now though, which is nice. Although, by see if these are standards it won't be fixed. I'm, I'm sure it will be, but there's a chance it won't be. As there's a lot that gets through the game, even if they say they fixed it. Saving a customization to a captain's ship should now consistently ensure that the item is equipped in the next session. Then in the shipwright voyage stock shop, voyages will now appear locked and available for purchase if a ship does not have enough space to store the voyages. Again, this seems like a simple fix, I don't know why this wasn't from the start. After migrating servers, players should now consistently see all purchased captain's voyages on their captain bookshelf. The captain's logbook customizations should no longer reset after migrating servers. Crews will no longer be offered the option to restore a ship if the ship is already in pristine condition. Crews defeating specific skeletons such as gold skeletons and plant skeletons will now progress the expected milestones. That was a disabled one they recently disabled. Trinkets now have a small chance to be nudged if they're submerged in water. Cool update, I guess. Players who skip the captaincy tutorial 10 times will no longer be shown the tutorial in the next session. Milestones related to the tall tail completion will now progress as intended for larger crew sizes. Basically, it was progressing more exponentially depending on your crew size. If you're on a galleon, then it would progress four times. 
Within the captain's logbook, quests completed in the current voyage will now progress as intended for larger crew sizes. When purchasing a trinket tier, players no longer have to close and reopen the shipwright shop to buy the next tier. Retrieve captain logbooks will now advise players to take them to the Reaper's hideout to be cashed in. Realigning a trinket will now cause a controller vibration. The Scorched Forsaken Ashes and Silent Barnacle Tables, Chairs, Curtains, Chandeliers now use the correct colours and match the rest of the items in their sets. That's actually quite weird. I don't know if that was just something that wasn't before. We'll have to check that out in game. But I thought they were pretty matching the rest of their sets anyway. The texture in the captain's logbook regarding pets has now been correctly updated. Environment, more seats have been added to the tavern at Golden Sands. A bit of a random update, but yeah, welcome, I guess. Players should no longer become stuck in their place when walking around the palm trees near the Order of Souls, 10 and 8 Spire Outpost. The incense burners at Ancient Spire will no longer intersect with the rock around them. Players can no longer get stuck on trees at Old Brinestone. Players should no longer see overlapping textures at Wanderers. Players at the Treasury of the Lost Ancients who become stuck in the environment will now appear at the entrance to the Treasury. And players who can no longer walk the ropes attached to the Sovereign's lift to Outpost. Visual and Audio. Players sprinting or switching weapons shortly after eating will now hear audio effects stop short, clearly indicating the action was cancelled. Wood burned in campfires will now disappear when fully depleted. The steam effects on some emote can now be seen properly in all body sizes. Crews venturing into the Shrine of Hungering while the fort at Sharkfin Camp is active will now have the appropriate shrine music. What a strange bug that is. There is no longer a visible texture seam on the finger of the Jackalooter costume. Notifications when earning trading company reputation will now be correctly displayed as text, and when switching to a language other than English, the prompts to show and hide tall tales should now change to the selected language. And there's been more service stability to reduce scenarios where crews are removed from a game session. This is a consistent issue nowadays. Hopefully it has been fixed, as it says here. And obviously known issues, reduced server performance, and, well, hit reg. What a surprise. The update is 6.93 gig on the Series X, 4.5 on the Series S, on the Ones 4.5 and 6.93 again, Microsoft Store 6.46 and Steam 6.55. And there we go for the patch notes, some very interesting changes indeed, especially with the Freya the Dam loading times. So that does just about bring us to the end of the video, so let me know what you think was down in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, then please do consider leaving a like, it really helps out the channel an absolute ton, and subscribe to help today with all the way to see if these news, as and when it comes up, we're getting really close to 10k subscribers now, and while you're at it, why not hit the bell as well? But anyways, until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.